new right now at noon. Three people are dead after an accident in northwest Miami-Dade. New for you at noon, we're seeing some surveillance video right from that crash. And the two cars collided at an intersection last night. Yeah, and two men and a woman were killed. Local 10 News reporter Laren Livingston is live in northwest Miami-Dade with what we're learning about these victims. That's right, this intersection was shut down for more than eight hours while deputies with Miami-Dade worked this accident investigation. One car came to arrest at the corner there. The other, just on the other side of the tow truck here you can see, came to arrest in that planter box there, taking out that sign. And we spoke with some relatives of these victims and we're learning that all of the people who died here last night were also related to one another. There are four people inside that dark blue Corolla, three men and one woman. A surveillance camera captures it rolling to a stop on Northwest 17th Avenue at 119th Street around 935 Sunday night. Marisa Castro tells me one of the men in that car was her husband, Ramon Castro, killed when a gray Impala came speeding through the intersection. We are devastated. Castro tells me her cousin, Paul Mandresa, was driving the Corolla. She says her husband, her husband's nephew, and his girlfriend hopped in to make a store run. Deputies say they went to make a left turn onto 119th, and they say the woman driving the Impala was at fault when she hit the family. We're not showing the impact, but cameras roll as other drivers swarm, traffic snarls, and medics speed to the scene. My daughter came with my car, and she said, Mom, there's a terrible accident in the corner. I was calling my husband seven minutes, um, a couple of times. And he didn't answer. And I said to myself, to my daughter, let's go over there. Castro tells me she was there and watched deputies take the woman who reportedly caused this crash, Shakina Hasty, into custody and ultimately to the hospital for her injuries. Castro's cousin Paul was flown to Jackson Memorial. Deputies say both drivers' injuries are non life threatening. One family now, though, coping with the loss of three loved ones. And we're still waiting to learn what, if any, charges the driver that deputies say who is at fault here will be facing. That's something we'll do our best to keep you posted on. As at last check, when I spoke with the family of these three people who have now been killed as a result of this, they said that they had not even seen, been able to view these victims' bodies, and they're still working to figure out where they're going to bury them. They say they, some of them have only been in the country from Honduras for just a couple of years. And now we're putting live Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.